Oh, wow, what up? Um, How can I show you my new GoPro lens? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right there. No? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can see it. Anyways, I got a new GoPro lens because I thought it would be dope, but I've realized that it's not that dope. It's more for guys that do action adventure stuff and I'm just over here vlogging. So, welcome to episode nine. Um, Episode nine is probably gonna be my least favorite vlog ever to record because I have to announce that your boy is on the DL. So where do I begin? This is a long winded conversation here. So apologies for just sitting here and talking and being boring, but I'll run you through it on what happens. So I wouldn't call it an injury because I don't think it is. So in 2016, I had bone spurs. Bone spur was attached to the bone, but then there was chips lodged into certain areas that restricted me from getting into full elbow extension and, and, and flexion. So that was 2016, I was with St. Louis, ended up getting the surgery, because I, you know, guys can pitch with bone chips. Every Almost every thrower has had them in the past or even currently. Um, so I got the bone chip and the bone spur removed in 2016. And then throughout my kind of journey after that surgery, I just constantly have dealt with um, bone chips. Some issues. I'll explain this as best that I know how. This is my experience. It happens maybe once once a year or maybe even once every two years. So what happens, uh, the bone chip that just kind of is a floater, just floats around in the, in the elbow, will find a way to lodge itself under this big tendon here that runs through these two bones on the elbow. And it lodges itself to a point where it then pops the tendon that's right here between the two bones, it pops it like off its little track. And then once it pops off the track, then the body responds by sending a ton of inflammation to that area to protect it. So then with the bone chip in that area that I don't want it to be in, with all of the inflammation, it can't lodge its way back out. So therefore the tendon can't reduce the inflammation so therefore that tendon can't pop back in the track so basically what we have is just a lot of like stuff that's restricting my movement you know and so when i do this i can feel like all that clunkiness in the elbow so this is something that i've dealt with in the past personally i i don't think it's a huge deal um the best route for me usually to take when this happens is with whatever team i'm on at the time a quick cortisone shot and i'm back in like three four days and i'm throwing so the situation here is that i had the start um that would have been the start on Tuesday would have been the double header last Tuesday. I had that nail issue and I think maybe something about the nail and, and trying to like manipulate my fastball maybe led to this. Could be, that was the only thing that was really different. And then they got me in to see their team doctor, did an MRI, which I could have told them what was gonna be on that. The MRI revealed loose body, bone spurs, chips. Then I was frustrated because now they're making me wait until a whole week goes by to then see their specialist to decide further treatment. Again, I'm not disrespecting anyone. It's just, it's frustrating when it's your arm and you know there's a way to go about it that could potentially resolve quicker and you gotta kinda just wait. We're gonna meet with him. Today is June 22nd, Tuesday. So it's been a whole week since my last start and I will meet with the, with the doctor to discuss further treatment plans so I'll vlog throughout this whole week, probably just give you like tiny little updates. But between you and me, I don't want to go through another, you know, surgery process in which they remove them because I just personally think they're going to come back anyways. And if we can just kind of get it out of that area that it's stuck in, we'll be cooking. We'll be fine. So stay tuned. See ya. I didn't sign up for this. Come down. Uh, 
Focus on how can you contract that guy. That's going to be your goal. what you do when you're on the DL. You help other guys that are on the DL get better at their craft, even if they're a hitter. I don't like his attitude today, but it's fine. So I'll bring the positivity to the boat. Hey, wow. So we're still on episode what? Nine, eight, nine, I think. All right, it's been a tough week, boys. Today is June 29th. It's been a tough week. You know, I got, I got quote unquote hurt. I did that video on my injury and like mental health and all that stuff and it's been really frustrating. Um, and it's, it's always a, uh, it's always an inner inner battle to like not not so much accept and acknowledge the fact that like you're hurt but like you like almost lose the sense of your identity and like your purpose right and then like your overall outlook on life is kind of just skewed and anyways um it's good it's a good challenge i like challenges I try to take those head on but this whole episode nine is going to be like all over the place because like i didn't have anything to vlog i didn't vlog i was going to vlog like the whole experience of like being on the dl and i didn't but well i mean who says i didn't because i'm still apparently I'm still technically on the dl like i said it's the 29th um i went on the dl my last start was was the 15th right so it's been two weeks today and i have i've not thrown and um uh, ended up getting the MRI, getting the cortisone. There's a B. Um, so I got a cortisone shot in the elbow. The swelling and the inflammation is down. Um, today being Tuesday, I'm really hoping that they'll let me throw. And I wanna throw, I wanna just see where we're at. But I'm gonna vlog today because I think I'm almost all caught up. Episode seven just dropped yesterday. It's tough, right? Because like, you don't wanna be a product of your circumstances and you don't wanna allow like, the circumstances in your life controlling your outlook and like how you approach your life, um, which is, if anyone has that figured out, man, let me know. Good news is I had a lot of time to do desk work and complete my Complete Guide to Pitching Mechanics book. Um, I only completed the coach's edition, so I'm gonna sit down and uh, finish the coach's edition. I have some more things that I need to include in that and then work on the player's edition and hopefully launch those at the same time. All right, I'll bring the camera to the field today. All right, guys, see ya. Let's get it in. Hot as heck. Thank you. Yeah. Ball up to the first. The kid's in here today.
Okay, well, it's about to rain, I think. Uh, your boy gets to throw today, so that's freaking dope. Light throwing, but it's better than no throwing. <laughs> it's so hot. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Hi. Right. I can't wait, I can't wait. I gotta throw against a wall. Inflammation's down, range of motion is somewhat back. Yeah, feels great. I could pitch today. Haven't thrown a ball in two weeks. Guaranteed go five innings. It's mental, right? Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I can't it. It's good to see you all. All right. Feels like there's a metal rod in my elbow. You can't, it's on his elbow. Oh, I can get that. Do you see? I don't like that. Sure, sure. Not rolling or anywhere. See how jacked my phone is? He actually just uses a hot tub as his bath for the day. No. Uh, you see it as a joke, but I believe that's what he does. Yeah, I'm not just joking. Hot tub and that's it. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> So you screamed like a little girl about a cortisone shot? The cortisone needle's thicker and longer than zero. If we get another shot, I am 100% recording it and yeah. I'm posting it. That was good vlog content. We freaking missed it. Sometimes I think it like it really does work and sometimes I think it doesn't absolutely I've used it on my shoulder and I've not noticed. Like... All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that hot? Yep. Why is there... Okay. All right. First shot. Simple. Third base bag. What is that? I wasn't going to just pop it. That's what you call laying up with the five iron. <laughs> oh, we'll smell you, ball. Ah! Three, down one. Yeah! <laughs> We'll go another par three off the uh, duct tape logo. Heads up. You don't get much better than that. What do you mean you don't get much? That's what do terrible. You mean? Oh my shankopotamus. Hey, I can hit on a bounce, right? Oh yeah, but you're probably going to hit it over. All right, well, I'll be down two strokes by the end of this. Don't get fancy with it. Nice. Nice. Bounces it over. Nice. <laughs> in the visitor's dugout. Sign or just in it? Just gotta go in it. That work. Four! Ah! Wide right. That's soft. Go left. You could have easily popped that in. I didn't want to hit her. Honestly, she got in my head. 400 sign in center. Par four. Oh! This guy is, he just lays up. Like, how are you supposed to win when you just you lay know, up? You know, you know that swing wasn't meant to be a layup, though. Get going! Oh, that is beautiful. Very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm in my own head. Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm going on four right now. Stop. Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful layup. I'll take my park five. <laughs> I'm going to go with the uh, second base. Very nice. Oh, that's got, that's got a chance. Mm. Yes, he left it. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh my on, face. Number 46, Sean 
Jason! Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. What up, dudes? Say hi. Uh, You're famous. <laughs> First pitch of the game. Look, it's a strike we won. Or if it's a ball we won. What's your favorite color? Indigo. Mm. Now I'm batting for this. I caught it. There's a 2-2 offering. And it's right down the middle. Why don't you take a seat? All right. Oh, that's a base knock. Oh. Dude's, dude's out by a mile. Thought it was going to be a close play. Ooh. All right, you know what? We haven't got a hit since I've been doing this, so I'm going to hand this over. Hey, so all we've done is swung and missed and took bad pitches. So, you so we gotta, we gotta make a, we gotta make a pause. I have some good content. On that. Dude, why is this thing bent though? Cause you threw it at me, dude. Yeah, but you're gonna make the adjustment either way, right? You can put it on the ball. Yeah. Brody. Loud noises. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> uh, not looking good for the boys. Uh, down seven. Put the vlog away for the day. It's the eighth inning. Get some Oreos. Cause I'm fat. This is what, this is what we need. Need it. Oh, what a day. That'll conclude the vlog. All right, love you guys, God bless. Until next time. What up, vlog? Last night I said I was gonna stop the vlog, but I'm not. So we're gonna keep it rolling. Got my coffee. I'm gonna go outside, go earth, and jump in the hot tub. I said I was gonna eat breakfast today, but I'm not because I gotta work. All right, catch you guys later. All right, so good earthing sesh outside. Walked along that whole grassy thing. Um, I got a few packages to open, so let's open those. First one says from Momentum. So I think I know what this is. Let's go, let's go. My boy E. Sim hooked it up. So I'm not a Juco bandit, you know? I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a Juco bandit, but like the fact that I got a Juco bandit shirt is dope. My brother was a Juco bandit, so it's in the bloodlines. That counts, it does count. Look at the rules. Shout out E. Sim. I will link, yeah, I'll link his, um, his apparel, his merch in the description below. So shout out, odds that I cut these sleeves and look Jimmy jacked, 100%. Okay, another one, blend jet. Pickle the beast, I think this is, I think this is your doing, right? Oh yeah. He's, what a guy, Jay, you're the man. A portable blender, a freaking a book on things you can blend. I got ants on me. Smoothie tropical bites. Look at that. Mango matcha. Sheesh, dude, you didn't have to do all this. What a guy. What an absolute guy. Thanks, dude. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you, eSim, for the shirt. And uh, yeah. All right. Now it is time to shower and get some with my floor routine done, mobility routine, morning mobility routine, and then sit at the desk and then go train, hopefully right around like one or two o'clock. All right, talk to you guys later. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. All right, so I'm actually gonna, gonna conclude this vlog because um, I'm gonna sit down at the desk and I'm just gonna upload the, uh, the files on this card to my editor so you can get going on this episode. Thanks for coming along. This was, you know, obviously a, a different episode with the whole rehabilitation process. And, um, you know, I didn't, I think the first clip that uh, I, I recorded, I was in a bad spot mentally, man. I was very frustrated. I think you can tell um, the way that I explained the injury or I don't even call it an injury. And now I'm in a much better spot. My elbow feels good. The, the chips have like moved from the spot in which caused that like inflammation and damage and we threw yesterday, we're gonna throw today, and we're slowly gonna, but well, slowly but surely gonna start increasing the intensity and the volume and uh, you know, play it by ear. We'll keep you posted. What I think I'm gonna start doing is handing the vlog off to like some of my teammates and just having them do episodes. That'd be sweet.
Let me know in the comments though. Um, what do you guys think a, a, a idealistic vlog length is? Love you guys. God bless. Until next time, look forward to it. Be sure you're subscribed and click all the buttons and stuff. All right. See you dudes.